Boston, AP, JD. Martinez hit his major league leading 32nd homer, Mookie Betts had two RBI doubles and the Boston Red Sox beat the Minnesota Twins 10-4 on Saturday night for their 17th win in 21 games. Betts raised his MLB leading average to .346 and Jackie Bradley Jr. hit a two-run triple for the Red Sox. They have a five-and-a-half game lead over the New York Yankees atop the Al East and own the majors' best record at 73-33. Logan Morrison hit a solo homer for the Twins, a night after they appeared to throw in the towel a bit in pursuit of a playoff spot following a pair of trades that sent away infielder Eduardo Escobar and reliever Ryan Presley. 32 Crown, still waiting for it to land, pick.twitter.com slash fours of slimit if Boston Red Sox, at Red Sox, July 29, 2018 Boston starter Rick Porcello, 13-4, labored through five and two-thirds innings on a steamy night, giving up four runs on five hits, striking out five and walking one. Jacob Rizzi, 4-7, gave up five runs on nine hits in five innings. Trailing 4-1, Boston scored three times in the fourth and moved ahead on Martinez's shot that left Fenway Park over the green monster seats in the fifth. Bradley's triple went off the center field wall over the glove of leaping outfielder Jake Cave, and he scored on Betts' double down the left field line. Betts' other double came in a four-run eighth. Like a good teammate, Benny is there. Pick.twitter.com slash FX Well, Boston Red Sox, at Red Sox, July 29, 2018 The Twins had moved ahead 4-1 in the third. Jorge Polanco had a two-run triple and scored on Brian Dozer's single. Morrison's homer tied it after Mitch Moreland's RBI single pushed Boston ahead. Away Twins manager and Hall of Famer Paul Molitor left the team to attend the Hall of Fame ceremonies in Cooperstown, New York, on Sunday. Bench coach Derek Shelton ran the club. Minnesota Vice President Derek Felvey and GM Thad Levine got into town Saturday and were on the field discussing the trades and their thoughts nearing the non-waiver trading deadline. They understand they may have not been welcome after the moves, but felt they needed to be here. That's part of the reason why we're here today, Falvey said. We understand that we may not have been received with open arms, but we're the path forward from this day forward with what the complexion of the Minnesota Twins looks like. We want to be accountable for those decisions, film session struggling Red Sox reliever Joe Kelly did a side session in the bullpen about a half hour before BP started with the club videotaping his work, hoping to find answers for his recent woes that seen his era balloon from 2.61 in mid-June to 4.79 entering the game. He pitched a scoreless ninth. Trainers room twins, Ray called Miguel San off from AAA Rochester to fill one of the roster spots opened by the trades. The third baseman was sent to the minors for over six weeks to work on his conditioning. Red Sox, LHP Eduardo Rodriguez, 10-day disabled list, sprained right ankle, was set to see a specialist later Saturday. The lefty looked to be in good spirits on the field before batting practice, walking around and chatting with Sano. Moreland returned after missing the previous two games with a sore left knee, but Rafael Devers limped off after running the bases. Up next, Twins, RHP Jose Barrios, 10-7, 3.48 era, is set to start the series finale Sunday. Red Sox, Nathan Evaldi, 3-4, 4.26, is slated to make his Red Sox debut after being acquired in a trade from Tampa Bay on Wednesday. Close the biggest headlines, delivered to your inbox, get news as it happens. Sign up for Boston.com's email news alerts. Thanks for signing up.